I'm going to talk about how to find your own personal style in 2022. How to figure out what kind of style you like, what things you're comfortable with, how to match things, how to develop your closet and things like that. And imagine every time I pick up this pants, the next thing I wear is white shirt. Every day, every time. It's not a uniform. and welcome back to my channel my name is Ebon A and if this is your first time seeing me here you're welcome please do well to like share and subscribe so today I'm going to talk about how to find your own personal style in 2022 how to figure out what kind of style you like what things you're comfortable with how to match things how to develop your closet and things like that so please do well to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos now let's get into it we wear clothes every day like it's an essential part of life i mean you're not going to go around naked and how to combine clothes how to know the kind of things that fit you is very important and i think the pandemic has taught us a lot you know how before the pandemic everybody used to dress stylish and over the top and then during the pandemic we're just at home wearing pajamas and stuff and then a new trend of clothes there coming in at leisure point is that don't follow trends there was a time when boot cuts were in I know somebody I think about like 10 boot cuts just because of all the girls on Instagram were wearing boot cuts but they're no longer wearing them I have boot cuts but I didn't buy them because they were trending at that time I bought them because I like the style and that's why up to today I wear my boot cuts but if you're following trends trends come and go don't follow trends if you want to build a, a, a sophisticated closet or a good style don't follow trends you can if you I'm not saying that if something is trending you cannot buy no you can buy it if you like it if it fits into your personality and your style not just because a lot of people are wearing it now the next thing is go out of your comfort zone so for example there was a time i looked in my closet and i saw all i had were neutrals and i'm like what and so from then i started buying colors so and now i have a very colorful closet point is go out of your comfort zone if all your your skirts are pencil skirt try buying um, flay skirts if all your tops are long sleeves try buying short sleeves sometimes so now i'm going to show you a few of my pieces that when i was buying i was a bit scared because i didn't have anything to rock them with i didn't have anything to sell them with but i still got them and they've become some of my favorite pieces in my closet so i have this orange shoes that i love like they're like six inches or more and um and of course they are shoe pads inside for comfort point is when i was getting this shoe i think when i got back and my friends saw it they were like eh everyone what are you going to wear this with and i'm like i don't know but currently if i want to dress if i want to be really fancy this is one of the things i wear i also got this purse and um it's really cute i like the gold on it it's, it's gold plated and i like the color you see it's something that even if i wear an all white dress and i wear this you're gonna keep staring at my purse because it's beautiful raffia bag i don't know if it's raffia but i like that it's asymmetrical it's unconventional it's um shaped in a weird way and i like yeah i like the hand like it's not just it's not just the a typical but um hand it has this round thing so point is i've gone out of my comfort zone quite a number of times and it has produced and yielded good results for me and so i think you should try it if you're also trying to find your personal style if you see something and you think it's cute get it you don't have anything to pay to that's fine in time you would remember that you have it and style it somehow next thing is accessorize 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 things you can use to accessorize you can use rings earrings chains whatever you can belts scarves hats whatever guys see if you feel like with this outfit you need two chains wear them put it on each other first and look at it how does it look does it look fine does it not look fine it's okay to make mistakes and then it is your personal style it's not like you're working for paris style week just try on things and look at how you feel in it and you're not dressing to please people per se you're dressing in a way that, remember it's your personal style we're talking about buy solid pieces now for you to build a closet you need some things that are really essential you need at least a white shirt um, a black pair of pants that's trousers a black suit nude shoes you also need a corporate dress at least one 
these are things that no matter what happens come rain come sunshine you have you always have something to wear i mean imagine you just want to start building up your closet and then you start with an orange shirt only one after you've worn it this week and next week what are you going to wear <laughs> except you buy more so he said you can get a white shirt that white shirt the first day you can wear a blazer over it second day you can wear it with a belt third day you can use a scarf by the side things like that same shirt but it serves different purposes when you're even going out like maybe to the mall or you're just going on a casual activity you can tie it up here in a knot i mean just ways to diversify your closet and your look looks all the time now, that being said rock one piece in different ways like i have some really solid colors in my closet i'm really proud of i feel like i should show some more <laughs> i'm looking at my closet right now and i feel like i should show some more i think i'm going to have a closet tour one day and um you know just show now, especially with solid colors and solid pieces make sure that every time you're wearing it you're wearing it differently let me give you an example i have this um purple pants very cute i like the color now the first time let's give an example let's say i want to rock it every week for like five weeks the first time i can wear with a white shirt cute next time i can wear with like baby pink next time i can wear with the black next time i can wear with purple monochrome Next time I can work with pattern, point is that I've worn the same trouser five different times. And of course, you know the shirts are going to have different styles. So if you do not even look particularly, you would not know that I'm wearing the same trouser. And another thing it does is that it stimulates you mentally. You know that, okay, I'm not wearing... Imagine every time I pick up this, 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 this pair of pants, the next thing I'm wearing is white shirt. Every day, every time. It's not a uniform. Try to rock it in a different way. And that's the only way you can diversify your closet. That's the only way you can diversify your thinking and your creativity next thing is don't be afraid of color you can see that i've tried to i have a lot of colorful pieces like just looking right now i can see so many don't be afraid of color i understand that some people do um there's this there's this thing they do online and then all oh, they have are white and neutrals it's really cute it actually gives this um sophistication which i like but i don't think i'm there well that is my personal style if that's what you like that's fine too like all your clothes are either nude beige um if it's even going to have a bit of color it's like plum <laughs> cute or rose gold cute but that's not just my thing so i like color you can have a section for that for just when you want to look and actually you look actually look very corporate and very sophisticated and very expensive you look like shmoney but that's not just my thing but so i encourage people to try color try one or two colors if you don't like the way color looks on you that's fine you can go back to your neutrals Thing is change your hairstyle you have to also be very flexible with your hairstyle you can't wear braids all the time you know try braids maybe if you try um not less braids next time you can do ghana braids next time you can try wearing a wig try we weave try to pack your hair try to do afro pointing at different personally i know that i look very different when i use wear different hairstyles i mean if you see me once on perhaps a gel pack and the next time you see me i'm on the fringe you most likely will not be able to recognize me so that's another thing when you're trying and then there are actually some looks that go better with some hairstyles like when i i'll try to put a picture if i can see it i have this short wig that i rock like almost a bald wig when i wear it and i wear my blazer i, I mean there's this anita baker look that it gives which i love and so also try to change up your hairstyle next thing you have to learn how to do your glam and your skincare routine should also be on point you can't wear makeup every day i do not wear makeup every day and then you don't want um if there's some things you can get rid of get rid of them white heads black heads hyperpigmentation just have a good skincare routine i'm still working on mine but i'm at least i'm putting in some effort and i try to do makeup because there's some times that there's some looks that you even if it's just a little eye um eye pencil and lip gloss it can take your look from zero to a hundred also there's some things people don't talk about guys please personal hygiene is important you can wear the best clothes in the world and then if you pass and you have a funky smell everybody's going to know it's actually very offensive i feel very offended when people come around me smelling funky so try to have a good skin care routine have a bath regularly wash all the crevices um shave use deodorants use perfume and you know things like that brush brush it it <laughs> I mean, I know that some, it sounds funny, but it turns out a lot of people don't know these things. I didn't know until I started interacting with some people. You know, brush your teeth. Make sure it's really clean. 
And the next thing is for you to find inspiration. Instagram is a very beautiful place for you to find inspiration. By the way, catch me at Ashra AB Studio on Instagram. I run a fashion blog there. I also to, um, give styling tips from time to time. And with time, I most likely will open my own personal page. So get inspiration from them. A lot of those style bloggers have hacked the look, hacked how to dress properly. So get inspiration from them. If you see them rocking a, 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 an outfit and you have a similar one, rock it in the way they rocked it or you can modify it or you can just get inspired. Like you see, a yellow, you see them wearing yellow and something like um, red. You can try it out and see if you like it on yourself. Now, last but not the least is modesty. I personally believe in modesty. I like you keep your private things, private, your private parts private. There's no need to expose some parts of your body and there's no need to overdo it. I think everybody should look cute and pretty, but please apply modesty. So thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. If you have more questions and if you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know. Till next time. Goodbye.